Alright, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I was thinking of uh, playing a game that I always have installed and always play whenever I'm downloading something on Steam. Because it's just one of those games I can't seem to stop playing no matter what I do. It's a lovely puzzle game and it's the first in a series of four games that are just, well, great, would be the uh, right description. Uh, well, let's start. It's called, the, the game's called The Room. And like I said, there's four of them. This one is the first and the shortest of the lot. Right, well, uh played it so many times I don't really need a tutorial, but uh, okay. Yep, it's all mouse-driven. And um, initially, well, basically, this is a safe that you, you need to open. Now, all the means to open this safe, the safe is, well, are in contained within the safe itself. So there are no outside objects that you need to bring. Everything that you need to open this are is located in inside here. You just need to find all of the things like like it says here at the beginning, uh, double click on the envelope. Alright, now we need to slide it out. There we are. <coughs> well, there's a key here. Yep. Woohoo. And now we need to... Oh, okay. Slide this over here, use the key, open it up, and oh, look at that, got an eyepiece. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do anything, perhaps something's missing, what does the note say? Okay. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Interesting. <coughs> well, the solution to this puzzle is down below where the legs are. And it's pretty much right there. Fire. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. There we go. Right. Peculiar key. Let's take a look at it. Alright. Awesome. Now, much like the leg, there are bits and pieces here that, uh, you know, when you look at it, you could see that they could be moved like this bit here. It seems like you can... Yep, there we go. Interesting. And I think there is one more like that up here somewhere. Yep. Okay, well, we've got that key. Let's see if we can use it. Yep. Interesting. Not the engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Interesting. Now we need to find... Ah! The world-renowned talisman. Might be able to unscrew this if I had something. There we go. Got ourselves a wrench. Okay. Ooh. That's looking interesting. <coughs> okay. Well, we got that key. Ah, it doesn't fit the key's the wrong shape. Alright, well, let's see if we can't... Okay, that hopefully is the right... Yep. Hmm. Okay. It's looking interesting. Can't quite remember. It's been a while since I last played this, but I think... Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, look at that. Well, now she opened it. Yep. A safe and a safe and a safe and a safe. A box and a box and yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at this new box. Seal stand between me and the contents of the box. Okay, <coughs> let's take a look at what we can do here. Okay, why is that leg different to the other ones? I mean, there's two such legs, but I don't think I can do anything with that one. And that one, it looks like it can be, yeah, it's got a little pattern on it. Oh, okay, what's this? Short piece of cotton smells of paraffin. Mm. Uh, okay, this looks interesting. Okay. Right, well, you need a combination, and the numbers are up here, I think. Yep, you got two on top, five on the left. I think it's seven. Was it six? No, nope, it's six down below. Yeah. Okay, so it's two, five, six, seven on the side. Okay, so we want seven here, two up there, five here, and six here. Awesome. Interesting. Okay, well I can see where that paraffin wick is supposed to go. Right there. Okay. Alright. Uh -huh. And let's see, oh look, there's a message up here. Search continues at the snail space. Earth and fire and between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. It's the final element, null. Interesting. Okay. So the guy that left us all these puzzles uh, is leaving us a Show the messages. Oh, what's this? Okay, well, I don't have anything to drive the mechanism with. There has to be something else I can do in here. Nope. Oh, what's this? Okay. Ancient leather bound book. Alright, let's see if we can open this. Nope. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. And there's a key in there. <coughs> ah, and we've also got this little bit. Sequence of symbols that you need for that. So, that's the top right corner. Yep. Aha, uh, uh -huh. here's another one. Top. So that's bottom right. Yep. And there's one more somewhere around here, but I can't remember. Ah, there it is up there. Okay, it's that round circle bit. Okay. And it's in the top left. Yep. 
And now I don't really need to hunt for the other one because it's just the only one left. So there we go. Okay, we got the iron key. And we've got the uh, key for c clockwork. Ah, here we go. Let's see what happens next. Okay, yeah, but we've got nothing to... Nothing much I can do there, right. Uh, ah, what's this? <coughs> Looks like a miniature telescope. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Okay. Nice one. And now we've got something to look through over here. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Get the feeling there's more than a... So would the eyepiece help? Right, let's take a look. Yep. Interesting. Trial. Okay. Ah. Brass plate with letter L. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. <coughs> right, trial, it said. One of the seals opened. Yep. Awesome. Interesting. Not a message. Okay, well, that simple is important. I <coughs> need to remember it. It's going to appear, if I remember correctly, it's going to appear pretty much throughout all of these um, room games, not just this one. Okay. Alright, let's open this up. Ah, I remember this. Alright, we need to light up each one of these by moving the view around. Uh, there we go. Right, now we need to make up that symbol by looking at it in the right way. There we go. And that key that I got early on would come in handy right here. Awesome. And another key. Interesting. Uh, is it just a normal key? Yep, looks that way. And uh, there is a normal keyhole. Alright. And a name of Brass Star. Hmm. Okay. Star. Uh, it's right up there. Interesting. Chamber without disabling the mechanism and that I gained consciousness, I had succeeded. Already made great strides in it. Okay, interesting. There's also this bit here. Um, it's 
part of a locking mechanism now. I can't remember where to move it. This way, maybe? I'm not sure. Or was it that way? Yeah, never mind. I need this bit here for now. Right, uh, that goes here. It's part of an unlocking mechanism, and now I need to unlock this thing, so... This one is just basically trial and error, see which one... which one's open and which one's closed. Okay, so it's that, 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 then back this way. Ah, okay, so that, 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 this way, and then all the way back. There we go. Right. Well, we need to know the sequence here. And there it is. Two, three. Hmm. Maybe that's not... Hang on. Ah, okay. You need to push it all the way up. And you get an oddly shaped key. Well, we've got an oddly shaped hole. It doesn't fit like this. Ah, okay. <coughs> well, let's see if I can... Nope. Yep. Is that the right one? The right way? Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. Yep. And now we get a circular plate with a star emblem. Interesting. Uh, I, could, I think that's where it goes, if I remember right. Yes. And it looks like we opened up another one of those locks. Mm hmm. Excellent. Now it's just one more. Ah, yes, it's this bit. Right. This is another one of these part of the locking mechanism. Um, it'll become a bit clearer later on. Okay. Here we go. And there's the locking mechanism bit. This is what we need to... Okay, so I moved that square one proper direction. Yeah, well, this um, drawer is locked. Can't move it unless I arrange all these pieces properly. Okay, so that one is this one, so I need to move it left. Okay, now it's correct. Now we need two more. There's a triangular one. Ah, here we are. I'm not sure if I moved it the right way. Nope, one one more move to the left. Ugh, this plate is annoying. There we are. Yep. And then there's just one more. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, I th think I know where it is. Yeah, the other thing this game does as well as if you are basically not sure what to do at all and you're just scrolling around looking at things and not actually interacting with anything much it will bring up a little question mark up there and give you some hints okay that drawer is locked closed by the pattern yeah we know that um right what do we hang on is there anything else we can Nope. Yep, there we are. If we move this here, yes, now we can unlock this. An elastic band and a large cog. Okay, well, a cog will come in handy right about now. We can stick that up there and get this thing moving. Oh, look, the screwdriver. And we've got some screws here. Have 
lost count of how many times I played this game, but uh, I like playing it. It's fun. Nope. Damn it. Damn. Go. Uh, okay, well, we kind of have this little pattern here, which I assume is for this key. <coughs> Alright, let's take a look. It goes up there. That one goes here, this one goes here, and... Okay, we still got one more. Ah, right there. I think it's the right shape now. Yep. Cool, another cog. Right. Let's see if we can... Feels like I can take this off again if I need to. Okay, cool. And another cog. Alright. I'm thinking it might be the last one. Alright, so we'll take that one off. And then we'll put these two cogs here. And then we'll go to the elastic band earlier. There we go. Interesting. Ah. Okay. A long narrow steel tube. Well, let's take a look at it. Some kind of a small key and an old photograph. Rev 605 Revolution. 605, okay. Well, we've got a little key. And there is a keyhole here. That's one of these again. <coughs> yeah, whenever there is this shining piece of wood, you need the uh, monocle thing. Right, now we need to make up that symbol again. one is a tad awkward. Yeah. There we are. Hmm. Shield. <coughs> right. Oh, okay. I've got uh, a few figurines up there. But let's give this guy a shield. Ooh. An old gemstone. And it goes right in here, if I remember right. Yep. And the old photograph, Revolution, or Rev 605. Right. 605. There we go. I think we just cracked it open. Nice. Okay. Interesting. And here's the next bit. Right. Lots and lots of puzzles. Ah. Yeah. This should be uh, interesting. Another little message. It's very dynamic. I'm certainly convinced that it's somehow tied to my very soul. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Well, I've read all this stuff before, so I know the story, and this is where it starts and then continues throughout all four games. Basically, this guy's your uncle, and he left you all these interesting boxes to unlock and following his footsteps. Right, uh. See if I remember how to do this. You ultimately need to get the ball over there, but it requires a lot of steps. Uh, 
Nope, I think. Yep, there we are. Okay. And there we go. Hmm, another key. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's find a keyhole. There we go. Oh, it's another one of these. Uh, I need to move the thing to figure out the combination. Nope. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Then all the way down here, if I remember correctly, and then all the way back the other way. There we go. Interesting. Yeah, this is this bit, if I remember correctly, was e easy to miss, at least for me. This little bit here in the darkened little recess. Yeah, you need to pick that up. Okay, then use the old photograph and take a little look at it through the uh, monocle. Let's take a look. Sigil. Interesting. Okay. Sigil. Uh, ah! Here's another one of those shiny wooden bits. See the, the wood shines over there. Right. So I'm just going to move this down. And look at it. And you can rotate this thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's move this bit. No. There we are. Get that in here. And now we can move this bit. Okay, and now we've got a, a square on a square. And that opens up this. Okay, so sigil was the password. See. Uh, come on. Yep. There we are. Okay. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element of fashion lenses from it, where one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure. Visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. <coughs> right, okay. Got a lovely little crystal. Ah, that looks like the right shape for the uh, base of this. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's focus the uh, light. A tiny weighted flywheel. Hmm, interesting. It's got a nice little cross-shaped thing. Is that... Yep, I think that's where it goes. Okay. Some sort of device for reflecting light. And what's this? There's a, an indentation here. Okay hexagonal piece of map. Well, there is a map here. Hexagonal piece of there. Okay. This is a brass winding handle with a square pin. A square and a handle with a pin. Ah, okay. Take a look over here. Right. And it's another one of these wooden things. Right, okay, so now we need to assemble that symbol again. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks something like it. There we are. An intricate wooden box. 
Ah. Okay, cool. <coughs> now, I assume that's just another key that opens something else. Now, that light thing that we did before. Right, if we use this thing here, I'll redirect the light this way. Ah, I remember this. You hit this button and then you need to quickly move on to the next bit before the timer runs out. Hit it again. And again here. And then pick this up before the timer runs out. And there we go. And I think, if I remember right, yeah, we need to do it again. Yeah. Keep going around the... Uh, table, double clicking on these bits until you can get at the, yeah, that's the last bit, there we go. Right, and we're next to the map, so we've got a star-shaped map piece, there it is, put it in there, okay, well it's doing something, okay, then we've got this folding key. So let's see if we can find where it fits. Ah, this and yeah, this square bit and and the folding key. So here's the square bit. Interesting. I don't think you can see anything right now. It's a nice grid pattern that's etched on it, but there is not much you can do with it yet. And here's that key bit. No kidding, it doesn't fit like this. Right. It's got many different parts. Let's see if I can get them out. Okay, that's that. Yep, that fits over there. That fits up here. Uh, this doesn't quite fit. Is that... Yes. Is that it, really? Yeah. Now we can put the other ones in. I think that's about right. I might be wrong, of course, but let's take a look. No, that's correct. Another small reflecting device. Well, we reflected the beam to the right the last time. Let's see. I think this one reflects it to the left. Yep. Interesting. Well, when in doubt, use the monocle. Ah. Okay. So it's a matter of reflecting the light. So that it goes left. There we go. Interesting. Okay, final map piece. Where's that map? Ah, here we are. Well, maybe not quite final. I'm still missing. I'm still missing the. Uh, okay. All right. Let's take a look at the. Come on. Interesting. Sign of a cross. Okay, well, there is a pattern similar to that here, so let's light it up. And here's the final map piece, and another message. Uh, discover the passage in this script is not. Summon Astaroth. Babylonians called Ishtar. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, let's put the final map piece in. 
There we go. Okay. We've got progress. Okay, let's keep going with it. Oh, what's this? Press winding handle and another message. Those that follow and find this journal, I like the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere. We still have so much larger now. There are doors everywhere, or oh, rooms everywhere. Okay, right, and we've got this. Right, well, and that's going to come in handy. up that uh, image. There we go. Mm. An ancient only data. Don't think you can do much with it on its own, but you can stick it into the table. the solar system. Okay, this bit, yeah, I don't know this bit. Basically, you need to look into here, you'll find this pattern, and then you need to make that pattern on that uh, thing there. Then hit this button here. If the lights are blue, then it's the right sequence, and uh, you progress on to the next step. Okay. Alright. Let's take a look at this thing again. And there's another pattern there, Y shape. Okay. into it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, need to make up the shape again. A, a large gold mirror amulet. Okay. Let's see. Ah, goes in here. <coughs> Right, if I remember correctly, you can move this, the medallion, yeah, to line up these um, lines to figure out the code for the next bit, but I do remember the code for the next bit, and it's not that complicated once you know it. You basically need to go into here. And see those two bits there. Right, so what the code is, is this. Okay, interesting. Let's bring this up. The energy source harnessing the null element. Okay. Alright, 
now we need to line all this stuff up. Yeah, the bottom bit cannot be moved, so swing your view over here. And let's line this up. Interesting. Okay, I guess we need to position this here. That's a good question. <laughs> right, another message. And it seems like a code of some kind up there. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you're just another of my dreams. All right. Uh, if I remember correctly, Yep, use the monocle, find this handprint and align it. Yep, and now there's a button you can move here. Okay, small gear. Okay, now you can move these. Yeah, there's a code, but it's not quite apparent yet. Um, and there is this bit. Okay, and this is where the triangular gear goes on to. Press the button. Right, yeah, I remember this bit. Okay, and now I need to do the same thing for the bottom one. And that's a little bit more tricky. Nope. It's tricky because I need to for it to be down. Yeah, there we go. orb. Okay. Puzzle within a puzzle. Small gear. Okay. And since we moved that bit before, we should have if I remember right. Yes, there's the code. Uh, snake cross triangle. And what's the uh, three? Okay, so three is the snake or the S. Two is the cross and one is the triangle. Okay, so three is that. Two is the cross. And the triangle is one. Yep, there we go. Okay, we get a coin. Interesting. Now let's place that uh, square gear here. Interesting. Some old faded tarot cards. Okay, well, we don't need them. Right, key goes in here, and ooh, I've got things moving in the background now. Interesting. All right, let's. See. 
Okay. What happens if we move this key all the way the other way? Right, now we can pick some things up. There's another key. And there's something else there, but it's blocked off, so let's open that blockage. Yep. And once more. And we get a metal plate. Okay, that key fits in here. Oh, it's this bit. Right, okay. We need to have the corresponding code for to each one of these plates. So if I move this in the middle, and now it's showing me the code. So it's this infinity type thing here, and four of those on that side, so... Okay, so if I put this back in here, where it was, then the code for this is that infinity thing. Yeah, this. Okay, and now I need to do the same... Well, put that code on the right. Okay, so this one, it's those four. Yeah, there we go. That opens this up. And now I need to put this thing in the middle again. And press those two buttons. Here and here. Okay, cool. Right, this is where you get the code for that. Let's see. Yep. Five, seven, three. Okay. Five, seven, three. Mm -hmm. Not much I can do with that yet. I need to do some other stuff. Well, here's a uh, small house, just something's missing. Yeah, well, I got that. Interesting. Right, okay. Put that coin in there. Handles there, they go up here, and now it's the uh, it's this bit. Yeah, this cube's got holes, and you need to sink these plates into the holes. Right, let me try to remember how I. Nope, that's the first you move. Nothing there. Again. This way, yep. Yep. Mm 
Yep. There we are. Done. It's a Rubik's Cube, basically. Okay. That gives us this. And it's beginning to unlock this uh, thing. Yep, here comes the next bit. Right, okay, well, we've got the red plate. Now we need to get these uh, colored crystals out, so... We just move that down there and pick the crystal. Oh, gem. And then... bit. Ah, okay. There we go. That's the last one. And now we need to arrange them here. And the red plate goes there, so... Is it red? Red. Red. Green. Blue. Yellow, if I remember right. Yes. Just got to remember RGB, red, green, blue. And then the yellow goes last. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. Right. We need to get that thing into that hole there. Okay. another one. Alright. Okay. That's simple again. It's just jumbled. All right, and that's there we go. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no, the monocle. basically the end of the first game. Really, not exactly long. It gets longer in all the subsequent games. The third and the fourth are the longest ones and quite a bit more interesting. Oh well, that's it for the first game. I am planning on doing... Um, yeah, doing more videos for these games, so... Uh, Keep an eye out for uh, more videos on The Room. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.